Hey everyone, welcome to this video. As promised, I have a setup of my Hobonichi Weeks as my health and financial tracker slash planner. If you guys haven't seen how I use my Hobonichi cousin for school and as my main planner, then I'll leave that down below for you guys to check out. So getting right into my Hobonichi Weeks, this is the weeks that I chose. It's the bread one and it's super duper cute and over on top of it, I'm using the sort of matching bread cover on cover, which is really, really cute. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's basically like a little bakery. And the underlying bread cover is just the yellow with the loaves of bread. So, <clears throat> opening it right up, I have nothing in the pockets really, just the little book that came with the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, and then this bookmark section here, I usually have that flipped right to my current week. So that's just how I usually have it. Um, but let me just show you guys the rest of this. I don't really use this 2017 year at a glance because it's just too small. I'm still in school, so it's not like I'm really marking vacation days or anything like that. 2016, 2018, I don't use those either. So this is the first kind of functional spread for me, but so far it's blank. But what I plan to use this for is for marking my menstrual cycle because um, that's just really important information that as women, we're asked that every time we go to a doctor's appointment. And sometimes it's hard to remember. I would just highlight the days out because I think these dates are just too small to really write anything. But if I needed to write anything specific about my menstrual cycle itself, I could write little notes like very small um, in the spaces. So that's what I plan to use that for. Next up is the month on two pages. So this section I'm also using as a health section, specifically um, putting in my doctor's appointments or, well, and slash or, um, putting in what was done that day or what I plan to get done that day. So I've just blocked out a couple of things for privacy reasons, but for example, on December 30th, I had a full physical exam um, plus I needed health forms filled out, plus I got my flu shot, so I just have all that information down in this box. And if this box isn't enough for me to write down everything that I need about that specific appointment, there's a lot of space along the sides here. Um, well this section's a little bit of a to-do section, which I am using as a to-do for January, but I've covered that up again for privacy reasons. But these areas here, I think that's a lot of space to just mark down any other notes or reminders about specific appointments. But I haven't had to do that yet, so I don't think that should be a problem. Um, and then again, here, uh, January, f so today's the 6th actually. And yesterday, for example, I started my vitamin D supplement. So, you know, I can look back on this and see when I started it and like when I'm expected to finish taking the supplements. And um, yeah, and even like on the 4th, I picked up my health, imp health forms from the doctor's office. So I also just marked that in there as well. And again, like I said down here, I just have a couple of health related to do's that I need to get done in January. So there is that. And that's what I plan to use the rest of these months for. Now moving on right to the weeks. So the first week that I used this planner was the week of December 19th to the 25th. And this is how I've been using it. Just writing down every single purchase of mine. Um, so a turkey sandwich, debt repayment because I owe somebody money so I'm just slowly paying that off. So how much I paid that day, um, McDonald's for a pay. And then I put, I've, well, I haven't been too good with this, but most of the days I've been putting the total spent for the entire day. On some days, for example, 
like Thursday the 22nd, I have three numbers in here in the total section. And that's just because I was keeping track of different payment methods. So different cards, sort of. Um, and then the grand total spent for that day. Now, I had intended initially that I... I had intended initially to highlight different expenditures, so like all necessary spends or food spends would be green and kind of do it like that. But honestly, realistically, I don't think I have the time to do that every week. I didn't even have the time to do that during my week off, so I don't really see myself doing that. However, for things like this, I definitely need to highlight because, I mean, if I think back on it, I can remember which payment method or whatever I used for each of these numbers but if I needed to look at it quickly I would have I wouldn't know like just looking at it right now I can't really remember which card was which total so that is definitely something that I need to be mindful of for the future so in this section um, sorry I didn't really explain I divided this page like each day into two there is like a faint line here's a blank one um, they're like these faint dots that would divide each day into three uh, squares. So what I've just done is um, marked off one of those boxes. So two thirds were for marking each expense. Um, and then the total spent would go in this box. And for these, I just used a Tombow dual ended brush pen, which let me actually just show you guys. I keep them all in this toothpaste tube here, as in the ones that I have. Um, and this is just, oh, this isn't the specific color though here. This is the specific color I used, number 922. And I really like it because it's nice and faint, but still um, shows up. Because with the pens, there is shadowing, like, here I was just kind of messing around with the layout and I could see the shadowing and it it slightly bothers me so I decided to use these and these are great for that. Um, and then so after the total spent I do have a little health section for my dailies so I just so here's a blank section again there is a line here and I went ahead and just redefined that line with the Tombow marker and just boxed it off actually for each day. Um, if you guys can see that and for this section, it's just writing down anything health related if I have a migraine if I have an upset stomach if you know Whatever the case may be if I'm vomiting if I'm just not feeling well if I'm feeling particularly down or Anything like that that goes in here any notes that I feel relevant to my day-to-day -day will go in here and you'll see oftentimes I don't have notes, but sometimes I do. And I just like to make note of that to see how things are going with me. And, you know, it's just, I think, important to keep track of. And I think that's just a first step in feeling better in all instances of um, not feeling well. Next up in this section, I've made an energy and a sleep graph. Previously, I've had these in my bullet journal. Okay, so previously I've had sleep and energy graphs in my bullet journal, which if you follow me on Instagram, then you would see that, but um, I have not really, I haven't made any YouTube videos about it actually. So here were my sleep and energy graphs in my bullet journal, but I haven't been using my bullet journal as much. Um, here we go again. I had a sleep graph there. Sleep graph here. I stopped making the energy graphs, but, um, yeah, so I went ahead and transferred that here just because I do think those are very much health related, and I really like having that there, and I didn't really have anything else to put in this section, so I thought, why not just move those onto here, um, especially because, again, I'm not using my bullet journal regularly. And then down here, I just did some deco, I guess, using the bread stamp that I got from Hobonichi. 
and I also just put in some washi and this washi is specifically from Studio Calico. That was my first week and I really enjoyed that. My next week f I followed the same exact format um, and I was able to mark in all my expenses however total spent I started dropping that ball so didn't put in my total spent here which kind of I mean it doesn't bother me necessarily but it would have been nice to have those I can easily calculate those now but um I just wanted to honestly show you guys how I have been using my journal I mean my planner and again uh, energy and sleep and then here I just put a quotation to adventure is to find yourself whole thought it was a nice one for the new year so now moving on to this week so this week was sort of a fluke in the sense that I did not decorate I did not pre-plan at all um, I was incredibly busy school started for me this week and I realized I hadn't formatted this for myself, but I just went ahead and wrote it down anyway, just as it was. So I am learning to embrace the fact that I won't always be able to do this for myself. And honestly, that's okay. As long as I push myself to hold myself accountable for my expenses and for my health, um, that's really the main goal here. So if some weeks end up like this, that is totally okay. So I've just been writing my expenses here and then on the side of each day just putting in any health related notes and that's pretty much it and I don't really plan to make this pretty this week because that's just how this week has turned out. So yeah. Um, and then I am going to do a plan with me for this week though with you guys at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. So the weeks go on through the end of the year until you get to the notes pages in the back of the weeks. And you have a lot of notes pages, you have 72 pages, which is amazing. Um, and I have my second bookmark to this page by the way. Oh, and my first bookmark is on the monthly section and like I said I keep this bookmark onto my weekly section because it just makes it so easy to flip to okay so for the notes pages I don't think I don't know if you guys can see it because of the shadowing from this page but um this is a little index so it says page and then subject I haven't filled this out yet the first thing I have here is the 52 week savings challenge and I plan to do this twice this year so um, I haven't actually crossed this out yet but what I would do is use a Tombow pen or marker rather or brush pen whatever the case is and I would just uh, check off with one color for one week. Um, Wait, I'm not explaining myself well. So I plan to do this twice. So I would use two colors for each round, but I'm doing the rounds at the same time. So for the first one, I'm gonna cross out with, let's say this pink one, like if I put in $1 in that jar or $2 in that jar. And then with this one, I would cross the other way. You know what, let me just show you guys, just so that I don't sound ridiculous. So let's say that I did the $1 one and then the $2 one and then um, for the second one that I'm doing, I would just do this to mark that I've done it twice for that. So I should have $6 total for the first two weeks. Um, okay, so there is that. And I just doodled a money sign because I happen to have a lot of space left over there. Then for this section here, this is just a expense tracker, sort of like where is my money going? Where is most of my money going every single month? 
So I have the months across the top and then I have some expenses. This is really where most of my money goes and that's my apartment expenses, stationery, eating out, transportation, gifts, clothes, makeup. So at the end of each month, I plan to go through my weeklies and calculate how much I'm spending on each of these um, items just to see and then at the end I could calculate a yearly total for each of those items. Um, now this is I haven't done yet because it's only January 6th but I can see it being a problem in the sense that in the weekly section I'm not um, highlighting these or using a different color for each item. So I would imagine that it would become a little bit annoying to go back and kind of do that. So what I'm thinking is that even though I haven't highlighted it while um, I'm planning, I think at the end of each month I would highlight um, each expense under one of these categories so that it would become easier for me to total it up. And I hope that makes sense. And maybe I'll do an update at the end of January to let you guys know how this worked out. Then I have my monthly budget section. So it's not complete, but for right now, this is, so for stationary, for at least January, I'm letting myself spend $50, but I wanna bring that down to $30 eventually. Food, um, Specifically, this is food eating out, like going out with friends or just buying food outside, $50 plus $15 to $20 added to the $50 for uh, months with special occasions like birthdays and stuff. Um, clothes, $20, an apartment, like utilities, $50 to $60. And I left this section blank just in case I want to change things up or add any other expenses to this section then i have gift ideas and i put this in my financial section just because gifts are honestly a big part of what my money goes on almost every well not almost every month but especially towards um the beginning of the year and the holidays and stuff so gifts are definitely something that i need to save up for and prepare for financially um ahead of time so I put that here and I would also put in obviously the um, cost of each gift idea that I put down here and then of course wish list which um, now if I want something I'm really trying to think about it more and move away from impulsive purchases which is something that I'm horrible at because I'm just this impulsive buyer and it's terrible and that's kind of the whole point of this financial planner is to hold myself accountable for each dollar, each cent spent to be honest. So if I want something, I'm going to put it down here, think about it and then buy it um, if I still want it after a period of time and if I have the money for it. And then I have the rest of these pages and I wanted to ask you guys if you have any advice for what else I can put in here that might help me get a better hold of my um, financial life. I haven't put anything health related in this section because I think I want to keep it financial. Um, instead, I have a couple of weeks um, additional books like the slim notebooks. I bought a pack of those last year, but I didn't use them, so I'm going to keep one in here, and any health notes would go in there. If I do like a setup of that, I don't expect to really. I think it would just be like notes about my health or doctor's appointments, but if I do something cool with that, I'll definitely keep you guys updated, but I plan to just flip that in here just to make it easier and divide the financial from the health. So that is it for my setup of my weeks. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any advice for me, I would really love to hear it. 
Um, and if not, I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful for you guys. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead into the plan with me for the week of January 9th to the 15th. I really hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you guys next time. Bye!